Also talk tonight, a busy burglar or burglars smashing their way through several businesses in Wilton Manors. Tonight, we are hearing from some of the owners who were left cleaning up that big mess. Local time crime specialist Bridget Matters live in Wilton Manors with this crime spree. You've got to see Bridget. And it is such a mess tonight. Wilton Manors police, they are searching for the thief or thieves that went through four businesses in the city, leaving behind a big mess. A thief or thieves hit four businesses in this Wilton Manors Plaza off Andrews Avenue. They came right through this window there. It started in this pet grooming business, making entry through this tiny window. Petty cash was stolen before busting a hole into the wall using the lid of a toilet. It's right here. Through that hole is a dry cleaning business. They came through the wall over here. But they went through three different shops like this. And uh, it seemed like they knew what they were doing. The security system from the dry cleaners was swiped before moving on. A few doors down is Gregory Todd's bail bondsman business. They obviously came through here. We Todd found it. a damaged file cabinet and a hole in his wall. He does have a camera set up in the back, but whoever did this went to great lengths to avoid it, including cutting wire and moving the camera. So he used that and came this way and we would see that on the screen. This is what was recorded on video. The broom pushing the camera up to avoid cameras picking up his or her movements. The final spot was this hair salon owned by Don Amundsen. The whole door was smashed in. Don already replaced her door, but says cash was taken from her drawer. Wilton Manors police went to the businesses and dusted for fingerprints. The business owners hit say they hope the person or persons is arrested. Thank God nobody got hurt, but it's, it's really sad. You know, that you come to start your day like and somebody comes and messed up your entire day plus your shop. Whoever did this really took their time. That salon owner says that in a closet there were two bottles of wine that she was gifted from clients and those were taken too. In Wilton Manors, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.